Good evening, everyone. My name is Heath Haskins, Good Primate. Welcome to the... I don't know what this is. It's going to be a tutorial on how to get your Oculus Quest 2 to hook up to your computer so you can go and develop inside VR for VR games. Now, that might sound a little complicated, but it's, it's really not. So the first thing that you're going to need, you have to have an Oculus Quest 2. The second is you're either going to have to have one of these little dongly thingies, this... Um, Oculus Link cable, which these things are like 80 bucks. You can find them cheaper online somewhere. But you're going to hook that up. You're going to download the Oculus software for your computer. And your computer has to have a, a fairly decent like card. And there's specific ones that you have to have. I'm not going to get into the details of it. But as long as you have a powerful card and you have Oculus hooked up and everything looks good, this is what it should look like. So... Hold on, where's, uh, where's display one? There we go. So, if I fade, 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 right here, I've got Roblox development pulled up in the background. I've got Oculus right here. And let's see. If I turn on the VR stream, we should be able to see, oh gosh, I'm like way off center here. So let's reset the center. So right here, okay? You can see all the different games. This is inside the headset, me looking around. Right down here, I'm going to select Quick Settings. Then I'm gonna go over here to Oculus Air Link or Oculus Link, depending on which one you have. Air Link is kind of in beta. Um, you don't need um, one of the wires to connect. You can just do that. And there we go. So now, can't find your headset. Please connect your headset. What? Yeah, you can find it. Try again. There we go. So we are now inside the uh, the Oculus home screen. All right. This is the actual home screen that's on the computer, not inside the headset. So one of the reasons I preach about the Oculus Quest 2 is because it can be used independently by itself, no computer needed, or you can hook up and you can play Steam games, you can play Oculus games, you can play, um, there's other stuff, VR games. Anyhow, that's, uh, that's inside the headset. So if you look down here, uh, there's a little thing that says desktop. I'm gonna do monitor one, and right there, inside VR, I'm actually looking at my desktop. So I'm gonna pop this on real quick, hang tight. Oh gosh. Ugh. So, left controller not found. Of course it's found. I have my left controller right there. So, welcome to inside my VR. So, um, once you have this particular setup where you can see your desktop and you can see the stuff that's going on. Oh gosh, hold on. Then you should be able to use your mouse and keyboard. And we're just gonna start up Studio. Oh, that's Steam Studio. There we go, Roblox Studio. Oh, I guess it has to do an update. Come on, maybe I should pause it for this. Maybe not. Installing, almost done. And good. Okay, so see how it's going into Roblox Studio Beta? I don't want to go into that. I want to go back to my home screen, back to the desktop, monitor one. There we go. So um, let's see, VR2 from scratch. This is the one that I was playing with. Again, it's going to try and switch over to the game itself. That's not what we want. We want to head back to home, desktop. In fact, let's pull this off to the side. There we go. That way it's it's out of the way and we have my actual thing here. So, oh gosh, I can't see. I'm actually inside studio right here um, with my VR. And if we hit play, now inside studio, like I can see with my headset and my hand 
and my other hand, I'm actually controlling what's going on inside the game. If you want to see it firsthand, you have to switch back over to, to the actual Roblox game. Oh gosh, I'm slightly off and my angles are off. But that is how you program inside VR with VR. So hit my menu button on my right hand here. I don't know if you can see that. Takes me back over here so I can see my desktop again. We'll just hit stop right there. And what I want to do is I'm going to go over here to the VR check. So get this a little bit bigger. Um, local VR service equals game service VR. Okay, so this is a local... Hold on. Wait a second. Let me take a look here. Okay, VR service itself is local. So there's nothing that you can do on the server side. It's all client-based. And uh, one of the things, one of the first things that I do is I check VR service VR enabled. If it is enabled, then we just print VR is enabled. If it's not, then VR is not enabled and I actually kick the person out of the game. So game.player is local player, kick, this game requires VR. Um, let's see, for the load player, oh, whoa, whoa. <coughs> Oh gosh, my hand broke. <laughs> oh, I hope it's okay. That's probably okay. Oh, there. So, um, where was I? For this, this is how I'm getting the, uh, the cloned parts in there. Inside my server storage, I actually have head, left hand, right hand, upper torso. And every time that somebody like, connects to it, player added, I load player. Come up here, player, print, load player connected. And then um, we do server storage, which is this. Head, clone, we're gonna call it head. Left hand, left hand, right hand, right hand, torso. We clone all those and then we create a folder called player folder, which appears over here in the workspace under player folder. And it's gonna be the name of the person. So like the folder name is my name. Should be code brand name. And then we set the parent of all of the things that we created before into that folder. And then we rename them to the player's name underscore head, player's name underscore left hand, right hand, and so forth. Uh, now, right now, for all my movements, these are local. So if somebody else were to join me, they couldn't see the head moving, the hands moving, stuff like that. But we can uh, eventually do a remote call to, um, to the server itself. And then, yeah, basically, when I move my hand, the message is sent to the server, and the server will actually move the hand, not myself. And then, uh, same thing whenever they leave, we just delete the folder, delete all their things. But that is how to program inside VR on your desktop and to be able to run and test your games. So, pick up the controller. Roblox. Pick up the other controller. Oh, sorry. Sorry, microphone. But that's it. I've got a little box here that indicates my camera position. I don't have any, any input programmed into this yet, but I will eventually. We're going to have a lot of cool stuff with VR, but I wanted to make sure that I gave you guys insight as to how to get going with VR if you're interested in developing your own games because Roblox just released some of their new uh, new settings with the VR service. So look into those. Anyhow, oh, I'm going to jump out of here. And the only reason I have this hooked up right now to a cable is because I'm capturing it with another uh, program called sideload so back out of the vr and into regular mode that's it i mean past that if you have any questions leave comments down below anybody else that knows stuff about vr please leave their comments down below help each other out um, development is never a solo game it's always community based it's always you're never just going to start and do it all by yourself um not saying you couldn't but help each other out Love you guys very much. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, do all those cool things you're supposed to call out at the end of the videos like good YouTubers do, but it's your choice. If you want to, go for it. If not, that's cool too. You were here, you watched, you had fun. Oh. <gasps>